Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great fantastic day. Now in today's video, as you guys seen from the title, I'm going to be trying on another one of Revolution's Christmas sets. They bring them out every year. They have so many different themes. I know they've done like a chocolate theme once before where it was all just, I know it's like they brought up the chocolate bar palettes but they brought out like a Pacific chocolate palette they've brought out so many different kinds i know they do their like their grinch collection at the moment and game of thrones there are so many different kinds of collections now that revolution bring out it's just hard to keep up so this year this particular collection caught my eye it's this one right here this one is the revolution the ultimate glam collection this has got pretty much nearly a full face it's got a mascara in here it's got a blusher it's got a highlighter in here it's got eyeshadow palettes it's got a setting spray lipsticks lip glosses brushes and a mascara a mascara they don't usually include a mascara in a collection so i thought a mascara was pretty interesting i've probably repeated myself a couple of times there so i do apologize but there's pretty much nearly a full face in the set and i thought that was really really good so i'm going to apply all of these to my face and let you guys know my thoughts if this is worth the money or it's not. So if you guys could enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. So if you guys want to know my thoughts on the Revolution, the Ultimate Glam Collection box set, just keep watching. So this set, I got this set for £25 at Superdrug in the sale. So I thought that was quite a good price for this. I'm sorry if my lighting goes a bit darker than lighter. Because this is so reflective, my lighting keeps going darker than lighter, darker than lighter. So I apologise if that does happen in the duration of this video. Anyway, so I'll just give you guys a close up of the packaging. So this is what the front of it looks like. It's this beautiful pink rose gold packaging. You've got a bit of light pink in there and darker pink in there. But it's very sort of a rose gold kind of packaging. And then it has what the products are at the front. So it gives you like a little illustration on the front. It stops you from like opening the box. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the sleeve on. It's a magnetic closure. So it does close by magnet and it does say the Ultimate Glam Collection. So it's the same sort of uh, rose gold as it was on the sleeve. So we open it up and this is what it looks like inside. This kind of reminds me a little bit of their advent calendars as well. You know when they have the numbered doors except these don't have any numbers on it. It actually tells you right on the front of it what it actually is. So I'm going to be doing my eyes first. So just going to bring you guys closer. Okay so that's a little bit better. So I've just brought you guys closer. So we're going to be doing eyes first. And inside there is a eye primer. So I'm just going to take that out. Okay so this is what the box looks like. The eye primer is going to be in. It's very pretty with all the little stars on it. And this is the eyeshadow primer. I heard this is supposed to be a dupe for the, like, the P. Louise uh, eyeshadow base. I've heard rumours about that. So this is the ultimate eye base and this is in the shade medium. It's a shame that it's not in the shade light because I'm more of a fairer skin tone. But I do understand they couldn't cover everyone's skin tone. So they kind of chose what was best which was the medium one. So okay we're going to apply this on my lids first. Just going to apply this on. Hmm. Has like a sort of paint smell to it. I don't know how much we need but I think that's enough. That's in my finger. They don't have any brow products in there. There's no brow. There's no like foundation concealer. There is no primer, funny enough, which is a bit of a shame. I wish they did include a primer, but there's no primer in it. Okay, that eyeshadow primer feels really, really good. Unfortunately, it is a little bit too dark for me. But if I was creating like a sort of like warm sort of smoky eye or something or a neutral everyday look, then this eye primer would be perfect for that, for warm tone colours. But yeah, it's just a bit too dark. I think that's the only way I would use this primer, so I'll have to pick up the lighter shade. Okay, let's test some eyeshadow palettes. So, I've got quite a few to play with. <laughs> let's, let's just put it that way. I have this one here. 
which is in a bronzy packaging. So this is what one of them looks like. It's in a bronzy sort of packaging. And it says uh, shadow palette on the top. And this is what it looks like without the bronzy packaging on. Right, this is the other one. It's in the pinky box. And it says shadow palette on it. I like this one. This has got some nice colours in this one. And we also have two palettes here as well. So we've got one in a bronzy packaging and a pinky packaging. And they both say shadow palette on the top there. And these are what both pans look like. They've got the same sort of design as on the big palettes. So this one here is a complete shimmer palette. There's no mattes in this one. Yeah, I just can't believe how big the single palettes are. The eyeshadows in here are so big. I just couldn't believe how big these eyeshadows are. They're like nearly the size of my whole eyelid. They're just, they're so big. They're massive really big now as you guys can see I have a lot of eyeshadows to choose from and to play with so I think what I'm gonna do is save the small palette for the two small palettes for another video and I think I'm just gonna jump in and out of different colors with both of these two palettes just use both of these ones do the different colors with these so there's a nice different variation of mattes and shimmers not sure what look I want to do today, but that bright neon eye colour is pretty much standing out to me. So that is the colour I'm going to start with. Then we're going to go for more of a warm orangey eye look today. Oh, before we do, guys, I just realised there's also a brush set in this collection as well. So it's in a bronzy box like the eyeshadow palette was, and it says brush set on it. So it comes in these like three paper sleeves. And these are the three brushes that come with it. They're like in these pink packaging so they look really really nice you have like a flat packing on brush an angled brush like a f one that you use for the outer edge angled fluffing brush or use it for a smoky wing and then you have a really nice blending brush right here and they feel really nice really really good quality okay i'm going to start with that beautiful bright orange color i'm going to take this one and i'm use the blending brush from that set so I'm going to start by applying this into the crease area. Okay, that orange was really, really pigmented, so I really liked that. I found it got a bit stuck to the eyeshadow primer, so I did apply way too much. I tried to use a beauty sponge to take off the excess, but I still feel like there was still a little bit too much. So that's not really the primer's fault. I feel like I just did too much. That's why it's kind of sticking a little bit in places. Um, but nonetheless, the eyeshadow is really, really pigmented. So I just need to get the lighter shade of that eyeshadow base. Okay, so I'm going to grab this colour now from, this, from that same palette. I'm going to grab this one. It's like a more of a darker orange colour. It's more like a more of a rusty orangey colour. So it's pretty much like the bright colour, but... It's more of a dirty version, so it's a bit more deeper. So I'm just going to grab the packing on brush from the eye set. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to start doing a bit of a halo eye situation. So I'm going to start by packing this colour. I'm trying to work it on the outer and inner corner of my eye. Okay, I'm going to move into the pinky toned palette now. I'm going to grab this colour right here. So this is more like a warm orange colour. It's a very sort of light chocolate warm orangey colour. Just going to grab that on a sort of very pointed brush. I think this is a super drug brush. I'm not too sure, but it's a very pointed brush. And it'd be perfect just to get here and here. Right, going back in with the previous brushes with no access product. And I'm just going to... Do it just to help soften out that darker brown colour we've just applied. Okay guys, I'm going to grab this darker warm brown tone colour. I think it's warm toned. Yeah, I think it is a bit more of a warmer brown, chocolatey brown. Because in the other palette, the browns look a lot more cool toned, a bit more darker. So I'm going to take this one on a Real Techniques very small little packing on brush here. Well, you can use it as like a smudger brush for like under the eyes or anything. And this is the last colour I'm going to use to add more definition because I feel like it's added a little bit of a shadow but I need a bit more shadow so I'm going to add this so lightly on the outer bit almost sort of like adding it to the 
like the top lash line not bringing it up just sort of creating like a little wing with it well not wing but sort of smoking it as a little line okay my eyes do look a bit like a mess but once we put the light color in the center i think it'll make a bit more sense so oh there's so many beautiful shimmers from both of these palettes to choose from i mean that icy sort of golden color is beautiful it's calling my name um i think i have to go in with one of these pinky colors though Ooh, i think i'm gonna go in with this one right here this baby pink here i'm gonna go in with that one just gonna apply that on a flat brush i'm not gonna cut my lid because i feel like it's i feel like there's quite enough yeah i feel like my lids are really tacky as it is so i'm grabbing this on a flat brush here i'm hoping it will show i'm just gonna swipe it down Ooh, very pretty it's quite a sparkly colour. Oh, this, this colour is actually quite, um, it's quite messy, as you can see. It's a very messy eyeshadow, so I think it's better with the finger. Yeah, there we go. There's the colour. <laughs> and then I'll use the brush to kind of smoothen out so it doesn't look too lumpy on the lid. Okay, this eyeshadow definitely needs like a tacky base because as you can see, there's tons of fallout and it's more glittery than it is anything. It applies better with a finger than a brush, but it's very, very pretty and I was able to pack on as much as I possibly could. I also added a bit more of the darker color, the, the very darkest color, a bit more in the inner corners and the outer corners. I felt like it just needed a little bit more depth and went in with the the third darkest colour just to soften them out a little bit. I felt like it just needed that little bit more definition to the eye. So yeah, there's tons of fallout. So I'm just going to clean this up and we'll finish off the eyes. Okay, I've used the tape trick and got as much glitter as I can off. There's still a little bit left, but I've used the tape countless times. So there might be a couple of bit more sparkles left. So I've done my best to get all the glitter off. Okay. That colour I was drawing my eyes to, that beautiful icy gold colour, I'm just going to have to use it as a brow bone because it looks so pretty. I just realised that I haven't used the angle brush yet. I haven't used it yet, so I thought maybe we could use the tip bit of that and do the brow bone. I know I should be using a smaller brush, but I just thought, why not? We might as well use it. So I'm just going to tap just a little bit, just right on that tip there, and we're just going to run this under the brow bone just a little bit not too much but just a little bit under here okay those eyeshadow palettes guys they're really good they are just as i say countless times they are revolution quality so i think they're really really good i think they're excellent palettes and that brow bone is oh that is really really stunning really really pretty so yeah i recommend those palettes i think they're really really good right Let's try on a mascara, which is quite shocking because you never really get a mascara. And to be honest with you, they should really include mascaras more in these gift sets. I think mascaras are a very practical and very ideal thing to have. So this is it here. This is in the rose, well, sort of like a bronzy kind of packaging. And this is the mascara tube. It kind of reminds me of the very first mascaras that Revolution ever brought out. It just kind of reminds me of that. And there it is, just a simple wand. Just pretty much smells like a mascara. Okay, well, let's apply this to the lashes. Doing it with caution, hoping and praying I do not transfer this onto my lid. The mascara, it's okay. It's not the best mascara. Has Revolution brought out better mascaras? Oh, absolutely. The one in the bronzy tube. Oh, I swear by that mascara. That one's really, really good. That's one of my favourite mascaras. Okay, guys, I've done my base makeup and finished off my eyes, chucked a bit of falsies on. So we're going to move on to the face products now. So I have this one, which is the bronze and contour palette. So it's in the same packaging as the other ones, the pink with rose gold stars. So it's the same sort of design as the eyeshadow palette. So you have these colours right here for bronze and contouring and highlighting. I've got to say they made this very universal because there's some really dark colours in here for like deeper skin in here. So this has included for loads of different skin tones. So I will give that a thumbs up because I think that is really, really good. There's loads of colours here for everybody. So I'm just going to have to probably use this sparingly so um 
Oh, what colour should I use? I'm going to be on the safe side. Maybe I'm going to use this colour to bronze with and maybe use this one to contour. So I'll start with this one first. So just take a big fluffy brush. I'll dip into this into this pan here. Oh, it's really powdery. Gosh, I'm only putting this in very lightly. So there's a lot of product on this brush. Wow. I'm really tapping it off because I don't want it to be too dark. So we're just going to start bronzing up the face. Okay, I think this colour is going to work for me as bronzer. I think this colour will work. Okay, that applied really well and it's blended out really nicely. Not too sure if it's a bit too cool toned for me. I probably could have got away with this as a contour. But I like it. Looks really, really nice. So I'm going to go in with the shade next door. This one right here. Just going to take this sparingly on another brush. This one right here. It's from the Superdrug. Uh, I think it was an old Christmas collection. So I'm going to take this colour sparingly. Like very, very sparingly. I'm just going to add this just higher here for like contour. I haven't done contouring in, in a really, 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 really long time. I haven't gone this intense contouring since the beginning of my channel, but I did do that very bad. I know, I know. The pain, the pain, oh. <laughs> so those powders did blend out really nicely. I kind of wish I did those powders the other way round. That contour powder, use it as bronzer. And then the bronzing powder, use it as contour because I felt like the contour powder is a bit warm. But nonetheless, I think it looks really nice. And to be honest with you, doing it reversed actually looks a lot more natural. I really like it. I think those powders blend really, really well. Now, I could use the highlighter from that palette, but instead I have a blush and a highlighter set. So I think I'm going to use this instead. So yeah, as I said, this is the blush and highlighter set. And it comes in the same sort of colours as the actual big box itself. So these are what the colours look like. So you have four blushes and four highlighters. Now it's a shame because I'd love to use these on my eyes but it actually says on the box you can't use them so that's a bit of a shame but they are absolutely stunning so I'm going to use blush first so what blusher shall I go in with? I think I might go in with that warm orange colour just to match the eyes so I'm just using the same brush I used for contouring. I did use my colour shifter and it's I've knocked off all the contour shade that was on this so I'm just going to gently dip into the blush Oh, it's intense. Um, okay, let's just let's just knock off that access, shall we? And let's start applying this to the cheeks. I'm gonna apply this in like buffing motions. Okay, beautiful blusher, absolutely stunning. Could have maybe used a bit more of a lighter hand, but it's really pretty. I really like it. I think it's really gorgeous. It blended really nicely. It matches the eyes really nicely. So I think this is a lot of fun. So I like it. I really like it. Okay, for our highlighter shade, as much as I want to go with that shimmery orange, it's going to be too dark. If I was going for a bronzy look, like really bronzy, shimmery bronzer, I would definitely go in with that blush and that, like a blush topper. Oh, it'd be so nice. So I've got to say though, I think this blush here has a slight sheen in it. So these three blushes here are matte. So this one's got a slight sheen in it. So if I wanted to add like a blush topper, I can definitely go in with this one. But I'm not going to go in with that one. I am going to go in with the lighter colour, which is right down the bottom here. So this one right here. Just taking this Real Techniques brush here. This one right here. I think it's like a setting brush, but I like to use it for highlighting. Let's start applying it. Ooh, quite subtle. I'm going to build it up a bit more. Let's do it. Oh, very beautiful. Okay, beautiful highlighter. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a really nice colour and it's not showing too much of my texture. I really, really like it. I could probably use a setting spray and make it more intense. And speaking of setting spray, it does actually come with a setting spray. This is the illuminating setting spray, right up my street. Love Dewy Glowy setting sprays. So this is what the box looks like in the same packaging as the highlighter and blush. And this is what it looks like. 
I swear they bring up this same sort of packaging every year at Christmas, the sort of black packaging with these gold bits on it. I could be wrong, but I swear I've seen it like that before. Okay, so let's set my face in place. Oh, quite a nice mister. Not really any smell to it, so let's set my face. Oh. Oh dear, this kind of, yeah, this is going a bit, oh dear. No, I really wanted to love you. Well, at first it did spray okay, but maybe the spritz on this is a bit, yeah, I think the spritz on this has kind of gone a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably transfer this in a different bottle. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've done the spritzing off camera just because I wanted to test the actual, um, bot spritzer just to see if it was the actual formula or the actual bottle but i've transferred it into an empty bottle this is just a body shop makeup setting spray but it's completely empty so i thought i might as well i might as well use this and it turns out it was the bottle so it wasn't the actual product itself the bottle on that is completely naffed so it's a good job i transferred the product into a different bottle but I'll bring it closer now, but can you guys see it's got complete gold reflexes from this, from this setting spray? You can see the gold reflexes now. You can see them. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. So yeah, if you find that the spritz bottle is not working for you, if it's just spraying out not very nicely, just put it in another spray bottle and sometimes it does work and it found out it did work. So... I have set my face in place, as you guys saw, I've got it all over my hair. <sighs> I'll be honest with you, I haven't found it set my face at all. I can't really see any dewy glow to my skin. All I see on my face is pretty much like very tiny little gold particles. So if you're going for like a bronzy sort of golden-y sort of look, then this might be really good, especially on your body actually. You can use this on your body, because I think that looks really stunning on the body for sure if you're going for that summer bronzy goldeny kind of look then this would definitely be really nice for that but for a setting spray no i don't think this works for a setting spray because i have like little gold particles all over my face but good job this is a fun look so i don't mind the particles being there so yeah doesn't work as a setting spray but as a body spray and a sort of sparkly gold kind of look if you're going for that then this would work for that Okay guys, I've now got the lip glosses and the lipsticks left. These lip glosses nearly tried to run away from me. These are the lip glosses here. I don't really need to take it out of the box, but you guys can see the packaging and it says lip glosses. So you have a clear one, a pinkish red one and a sort of honey sort of colored one. So this is the lipstick box. And these are what the lipsticks look like. This is the packaging. And those are the colours you get inside. Now it doesn't have any shade names on here. I'm looking at the bottom of it and it doesn't say. So I'm just going to check with the box. So one of the lipsticks is called Ornament and the other one is called Chauffeur. Which I believe Chauffeur, you can get this like individually. I think you can buy this on its own. So I don't think this one is exclusive because I think you can buy this on its own. And that's a colour I've actually been wanting to buy for ages. But I think this one is their Christmas one, which is called Ornament. The lip glosses, you have, you have Dreamy, Golden and, wait, Slight of Hand. It's a very strange name, but okay. But we can all know, we all know what colours they are. So obviously this one's Golden, this one was dreamy and that one's sleight of hand or it could be the other way around for these two but i know obviously we all know this one's golden so yeah these are what the lip glosses look up front i'm gonna go in with chauffeur first so i'm gonna apply chauffeur okay this is the shade chauffeur it's very, very pretty. It's very natural colour. It makes me look a little bit washed out, but I probably could go with the darker lip liner to change that. But I heard that colour is meant to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk lipstick. I've heard that's supposed to be a dupe. But yeah, nice colour. Really, really pretty. So I think now it was hard to choose. I didn't know which lip gloss to use. I could use this one to kind of add a more of a pinky tone colour to it. 
I just I could go in with clear or go in with golden, but I think I'm going to go in with golden. Let's go in with golden. And they smell like sweets. They smell like exactly like the old Revolution lip glosses they bring out in all the sets. They always smell like sweets. Yeah, they always smell like sweets. In fact, no, the lipsticks don't smell of anything. I've got to mention as well, the lipsticks are a bit of a semi-matte finish. So it's not matte, but it's not completely glossy either. Oh, I can't stop smelling this. Oh, this is nice. And there you go, guys. This is the gloss on top. Very pretty. Really, really glossy. I, yeah, I really, really like this. I really, really like it. Okay, guys, this is the completed look from the Ultimate Glamour Collection. So, sort of this halo eye we've got going on with this neutral lip. So my thoughts about it, um, there are some hit and misses in this collection, like the eyeshadow primer for me is too dark, uh, the setting spray is more of a body mist spray than it, than it is to use on my face, so I feel like it hasn't set my face in place. Um, but for £25, I think it's pretty good. And sometimes after Christmas, it is in the sale. So definitely check it out if it's still there after Christmas, because it will go down even cheaper. So if you're looking for like, a makeup starting kit like because there's so many like versatile like colors in there for so many different skin tones so great for makeup artists because there's so much variation in this kit there's loads of like highlighters and blushes and contour and that there's so much in there so it's great for makeup artists because there's so much to choose from. But if you're a starter with makeup as well and you want a few makeup items to play with, then I think this set would be really, really good for you. Yeah, if you're a starter or a makeup artist, I definitely would recommend it. Definitely check out after Christmas because I guarantee it will definitely be cheaper. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.